Hello, everybody. In this video, we're just going to be looking at the state of Florida as a whole, and I'm pretty much going to explain why Florida is a lost cause for the Democrats here, and why I think they shouldn't really invest much in this state compared to other states. So, recent polling has Trump up here by 13 points, or 11 points, as the two most recent polls I've seen. So that's just a crushing victory for the Republican Party here. And that kind of shows how Florida used to be a swing state these past elections. Now it might even be a safe Republican state. And it's really not that shocking to me because you look at the party registration numbers and you just see that Republicans every month gain members of the political party, mainly because they're doing better with Latino voters in the state of Florida specifically. Especially Cuban voters, they're just extremely Republican. And that's mainly because Florida Republicans just have done a better job at outreach in the state of Florida than the Democrats have. Strategically, I think the Florida Democrats are probably one of the worst state Democratic parties up there. They just canceled their Democratic primary and then resulted in a ton of mayoral races going towards the Republicans because of low turnout. Really should never cancel a political primary in a state like uh, Florida. It's a big state, and you need voters to turn out there, especially for mayoral elections, and just to uh, keep some energy with their political party to show that uh, you engage voters with a primary process. But um, I think that was a major mistake on the Florida state Democrats. But um, other than that, Republicans have just done a good job at just outreach towards Latino voters. They bought a bunch of Spanish radio stations in the state. They just run a lot of ads in Spanish, too. So, again, Democrats just really struggle with that Latino group in the state of Florida. And that's kind of the big reason why Florida has become so Republican. And I think another factor is... We just see a lot of Republicans moving to the state of Florida, further shifting the state to become even redder than it is before. Honestly, Florida might be becoming a vote sink for Republicans. We might see a lot of Republicans from swing states move to the state of Florida because they like the job Ron DeSantis done as governor here. So that could hurt Republicans long-term in swing states just because they keep moving to Florida, just turning it into a vote sink like New York and California is for the Democrats. So Florida's like the Republican version in New York, honestly, looking at it long term. So just looking at that long term impact, I'm pretty sure this is the map from the 2020 election. I pretty much copied each county here. But uh, honestly, which counties do I expect to flip going forward? I think we're probably going to see Miami-Dade actually go narrowly Republican here. I think Trump might actually have a chance at flipping this county red. He did extremely well in this county last time around. I mean, we could just take a look here at Miami-Dade. Hillary won this county by about, like, 29 points, I'm pretty sure. And now, back in 2020, Biden only won here by, like, six or seven points. So that is a huge reduction here in support. And we're probably going to see Miami-Dade flip to the Republican Party, kind of like we saw it back in the 2022 Florida gubernatorial race. Ron DeSantis pretty much won nearly every county in Florida except for five, even Miami-Dade. He just destroyed Charlie Crest here. So let's see if we... Is there any results by county? Yeah, I just want to see specific numbers on how much DeSantis won by... Wow, that is a lot. 80,000 votes. No, so I don't expect Trump to win Miami-Dade by that much, I expect it to probably be like a point or two ahead of Biden, honestly. And we might see Florida go as a safe red state just because of that. But let's go back to the map here. So I do think Miami-Dade's probably going to flip. I also think Pinellas County over here is probably going to flip red as well, just judging by the trends here. Duval County, let's just take a look. Yeah, even Charlie Crest managed the win in Duval. So, wait, no, this is the Biden map. Let's just go back to the... 2022 map. I clicked on the wrong thing. Wow. Charlie Christopher lost Duval County. Hmm. Let's look at the margins here that Biden won Duval County before we change it. It's very narrow. It is not good for Democrats that it was this close in 2020. So Duval County is a possible county that flips, but I think I'd still put it as like a tilt blue county or something like that. 
we could potentially see uh, the county next to Pinellas flip or get a bit closer. But um, other than that, I think just Republicans are just going to continue to gain in this state because Democrats, the Florida State Dems, are kind of just dropping the ball here consistently. But um, the only reason I could see Biden for like attempting to invest in Florida, even though he's not going to win it, is to help congressional House Dems here because there's still a good amount of seats in the state of Florida that are Democratic. I'm pretty sure it's like eight or nine. But um, again, maybe he should put some money here because there is the uh, abortion referendum in this state as well. That is pretty important. And that needs 60% to pass in the uh, ballot process here in Florida. You need 60% of the votes for a referendum to actually go into effect, which is kind of annoying. I really feel like it should just be 50%. I don't really see a downside in the... Uh, raising or keeping it at about 50% of the vote. I feel like that's kind of just makes it pretty much impossible to really pass anything through that process. But um, overall, I think Biden's probably not going to win the state of Florida. He might even lose it by over 10% at this point. In the last video, I had like Biden losing the state of Florida and my like Biden v. Trump prediction by about 8%. Honestly, that braiding might change in the next month based on recent polling if we continue to see this downward trend here. But we could just take a look here. Yeah, 12 to 13 point lead. That's pretty bad. But we'll see what happens in the state of Florida. But other than that, I just think it's a waste of time for Democrats to really seriously try to win the state of Florida. They could invest into Georgia, they could invest into North Carolina, even Texas would probably be a better spent money in the state. So at least that state isn't trending so Republican like Florida is. I mean, I think those funds that were going to go to Florida should go to North Carolina and Georgia, because those states are actually winnable for Biden. Trump only has a narrow, under 5% lead in them. Meanwhile, Florida, it's just pretty much a safe Republican lock. Like, if I were to assign likelihood of Florida going Republican in 2024, I would put it at like a 95% chance. That's how non-competitive I view the state of Florida for Democrats at this point. And every time it's a narrow election, Florida goes Republican anyway, except for 2012. Even that was just a close one with Obama being Romney. But that's my current take on it. So, if you aren't subscribed to this channel already or you're new to it, I would highly recommend subscribing if you enjoy political videos like this one. And let me know down in the comments below any video recommendation ideas. I'm always open to hearing them. But um, other than that, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one.